Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and what if Peter Parker became the Punisher? And Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pepper, peck of pickle pepper, Peter Piper picked If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pepper, where is the peck of pickle pepper Peter Piper picked? Didn't know I could do that, huh? One of these days, maybe you'll hear me do like some speed rap from back in the day. Probably bite my tongue. Anyway, so um, this was a pretty decent comic book. All right, uh, let's actually get into it here. The uh, writer, Carl, uh, Carl Potts, the artist... Juanan Ramirez, sorry if I killed that, colorist Rachel Rosenberg, letterer VCs Travis Lanham, cover artists Chris Stevenson and Rachel Rosenberg, uh, after Mike Zeck and Paul Zimmerman. So there was a whole lot of work on the cover. <laughs> Variant cover, simply Christopher Tyler, Chris, John Tyler Christopher. Oh my God, geez. It's so hard to read this stuff off of, um, off of uh, the online, but I still like sometimes getting comics online. I know that this isn't something I'm particularly going to be like, oh my God, I got to see this. I got to, I got to have the, the actual comic book. No, I don't feel I need to have this physically in my collection. Um, this was not a bad comic book by any means. In fact, while they may have done some things pointlessly, there was something done at the end that I think was done expertly. And let's get into that right now. Um, there will be a few more spoilers than I'm used to giving in a comic book in here, just because I think that's actually kind of necessary. More specifically, um, I'm going to be talking about the ending of the book, and that's something I usually only do with issue ones, not with one shots and, you know, anything after an issue number one. But anyway, so Peter Parker gets bit, uh, Peter Parker gets bit by the spider and he, yeah. He becomes Spider-Man. But the spider, instead of having a um, uh, the little hourglass shape on the back, instead it's got a Punisher skull on it. Well, that's cute. So now he makes his costume, and he does all those same things that always happens. Is he makes it so his, um, you know, the guy runs away. He goes after the guy who killed Uncle Ben, and oh my God, that's where things start to change. But for now, um, he also has a, a spider suit that has the Punisher logo on the front. It's actually a very cool looking suit and I almost feel like this has to be one of the Spider-Verse characters at this point. Maybe we can actually see this character in the Spider-Geddon, you know what I'm saying? Seriously, why not? Even in the background. So um, when he goes after the guy who killed Uncle Ben, he actually winds up shooting him with this guy's gun and he keeps this guy's gun. So he is now a murderer. Because he understands with great response, with great power comes great responsibility in a different way than he otherwise would have. Now, we didn't need to see the new outfit. We didn't need to see the new spider. We didn't need to see the skull on these things. That wasn't necessary in the beginning of this comic book. That stuff should have happened afterwards. Also, did you guys notice that there was the little... Um, what the heck is that called? That little gap, you know what I'm saying? Between Peter's legs, when his legs are together, that little gap right under, like, dude, that looks good on a girl, but on a guy, I don't even think that's possible. So what the frick, guys? <laughs> anyway, um, that's the only complaint I'm going to have with the art. So I don't like the idea that he had the skull and all that stuff prior to that shift, all right? That, that, that one decision that kind of changed things around. Here it just showed that there were too many things, and it was just kind of a little bit too poignant. Anyway, so not only does he kill this guy, but Ned Leeds showed up, and he took a snapshot of this. And, you know, so, so a couple things wind up being different here. Uh, all these different things happen. He winds up making different kind of web shooters that also act as a freaking chain gun on his wrist. Come on, man. So he can fire... EMP bullets, he can fire armor piercing bullets, and he can fire explosive bullets. And he's just got like any regular bullets. <laughs> so he's just, uh, and he can shoot uh, webs, of course, also. So, wow, man. Uh, I like the, the outfit. I like the little ammo pack around it, the little utility belt. All of it's really cool. Uh, towards the end of this, he winds up deciding I'm not going to be Spider Man anymore because I've stopped crime for the most part. Now it's only regular crime. All the super criminals are like, dude, this guy's killing people. So he kills all these other heroes. He winds up killing, uh, what's his face? Uh, Green Goblin. Harry is like, oh, I'm going to become a bad guy now. And maybe he will. But Peter Parker isn't going to be Punisher anymore, the Spider Punisher anymore. He's not going to be him anymore. He does the, um, the Spider Punisher no more situation. 
and he leaves and he's happily ever after with Gwen, apparently. Uh, I liked this. Yeah, because he saved Gwen, of course. Now, what happens later is since there's more street crime as opposed to superhero crime, the thing with Frank Castle still happens. Yeah. Here's the major spoiler thing. So he's running away, trying to get safe, you know, recoup uh, after he's trying to, you know, he's getting ready to murder people. And he comes across the alleyway where the spider costume and all that stuff is in the garbage. So I don't like the idea of all the, the heavy Punisher references in the beginning of this. The Punisher aspect should have come after, like he should have changed his costume from the standard Spider-Man costume to the Punisher costume, spider Punisher costume after the whole, you know, I just killed this guy situation. But um, that, that I think would have been better. But what's done so right in this comic book is at the end, this leaves it open for there to be a Punisher spider. All right. So Frank Castle donning that outfit and then doing the things that he's going to do anyway. Right. So he's going to take over as um, as Spider-Man in a sense, the Punisher Spider-Man's. I, I like that. I really like that. Whether we get a follow up comic book to that or not, that's really cool. What could be cool is that they kind of did a um, what the heck is the name of the guy? Uh, Chuck Palahniuk. If they pulled a Chuck Palahniuk. And they just had, okay, the next issue that, that um, this guy does is going to be the, you know, what if the Punisher became Spider-Man? And then at the end of that, like, there's the Craven's Last Hunt situation. And then what if the Craven permanently became Spider-Man? Or, or if, the, if, if, you know, the uh, Craven became the Punisher? Ah. And then they did another book because at the end of that, um, you know... Something else happens. I don't know. If the, if the, what if the rhino dressed as a human condom? I, I don't know. Okay? I don't know. I'm not thinking that far in advance. But you get the gist, right? If each what if led to another what if issue, that would be badass. We haven't seen that before. I would love to see something like that. Suggestions. All right, guys. That's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.